Hey folks, what is going on? Clutch here. Welcome back to Nebraska Lands. Guys, we've been busy farming away. We've been planting with the case and things are looking really good. You can see, well, this field right here. Oh man, look at this field here. This is all soybeans. Pork and beans farms. Oh man, it does look good. I've got some news actually on this farm. Things could be changing on pork and beans here pretty quick. I mean, I mean really quick. Things are looking really good right now, but uh, we may be changing things. Oh, we got the batter's tad set up. Man, what a system. What a system. This looks fantastic. We've been busy planting away. So we've got this field here done. The soybeans are done. The other big field in behind uh, the farmhouse there, that is all wheat. I believe we did wheat. It was a barley. No, it was barley. Barley and soybeans. And we're all planted. Summer is progressing. We'll be ready for summer here. We're just still in the middle of spring, but we've got some nice days right now. I mean, we're 17 degrees Celsius and uh, middle of spring. It's perfect weather. I mean, I'm dying for this weather right now. This is fantastic. I've got this field right here across the way, which we have not touched yet. This is uh, this is a root crop uh, vegetables or root crop from last year. I need to uh, get in here at some point potentially, and I still have another field way down south that uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I may lease that out, but you know what? Things might be changing faster than uh, we even know, to be honest with you. But I'll get more into that in a bit. Anyways, I've got something to go check out here today. And well, we'll see what that turns out to be. Let me uh, get this, this case back into our farm and I'll tell you about it, all right? Let's do this stuff, pitter batter. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Oh yes, love it driving me the quad track. Such a good tractor, so much fun. Look at this thing, just a beast. Um, all right guys, we're gonna park this stuff all over uh, by the silo right now. We just built, I filled it up with uh, fertilizer and seed just before uh, we got in here. It's so tough to, to do this while it's anywhere else than in the field. There's just, you need a lot of, you don't need a lot of space to get that seed hawk to have enough room in order to uh, drop that trough down. So I always try to do it when I'm back in the field. All right, let's put this over here for now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. That's like the perfect little spot for us to park this, I find. It's lots of space to turn around when I need to. Perfect. Leave this there. And uh, I have access to everything I can get by it still. It's like the best spot possible, right between all these bins. Now, you know what? We've been looking at uh, opening this gate up. I know we talked about this last time. And there was a couple of you that wanted me to upgrade the gate. You know what? We were out here sizing up this gate the other day. And we had somebody stop by. And they were interested uh, in the property itself. They wanted to know a little bit more about the space, the property we had, the land we had to lease. Um, we may... I've had an offer on the property right now. We're still going through the details on how this is all going to work, guys. But let's just, uh, just wanted to give you all a heads up that, you know what, Pork and Beads Farms maybe be sold really quick here. Uh, I haven't decided exactly how much we're going to do, what we're going to do with this, but he's taken a pretty good offer towards us. We're still kind of trying to figure out the details on it. I don't want to get into details yet exactly on uh, how much the offer is on the farm, but this may be something that uh, we might be interested in. Where did my truck go? It's over here. So the farm itself was relatively cheap for us to purchase. And we've done a ton of work here. And I think maybe our time has come to an end. There's our four. looks good. Oh, man. So we've got still a lot of crops over. Actually, this root crop storage is full still. Our silos have a ton of crop. I may just check those out. See if we can get an offer from this. It might be a good idea. It might be a time to, to cash out and move on. Um, it's something I'm tempted to do. I'm definitely tempted. I mean, we didn't even have a farmhouse on this farm when we first started up. It was uh, it was nothing nothing big by any means. We just had well this grain silo bin, all these bins right here. This was the big sell point for us, of course, when we bought this farm. It had all these bins, and then it had the pig farm down the far end. That was pretty much it. So we've taken this farm from being kind of not much there to I'm pretty happy with what we've got there. I mean, for uh, we have quite a bit of farmland. We got a lot, a ton, but we have a decent amount. Just scoop through these bushes over here. And uh, you know what? We're making decent money now. We're, we're really being profitable, I find. Every time we go to some place to sell something, we're making a ton of cash at it. And I think maybe it's time that we, we move along. Someone's willing to pay us for this place. I don't know. I don't want to deal with another flood either. I mean, that's always going to be a problem, right? Oh, man. Look at the mud here. <laughs> look at that. Looks so good. All right. So for today, there is something up on the north side. In fact, you can see the farm up ahead. Now, there's a farm just on the north side of ours. It's, an, once again, an old dilapidated farm. There's an old tractor in there, I've noticed. And I wanted to check it out. Um, but there's also a couple buildings in there. I just wanted to go for a quick walkthrough and take a quick look and see if we've got anything in them. 
God, our farm looks so good. I'm so happy with the way this farm turned out. Oh, man. But almost as good as our, uh, our uh, Ohio farm. Anyways, look at the, uh, the small little farm up here. Now, there's a farm in the back. That's not us. This one right on the front side here. Look at the mud just flying up on our Ford. Just on the front side right here. This one here is part of our land. I don't know what, what the time frames are on this farm. If this was the original, original farm and maybe those, those sheds we knocked down back during the floods, if that was kind of like their offshoot. It seems like there was almost a bit of a, uh, a homestead here as well. They put a couple buildings up, but no one has been staying here. Um, I haven't done anything with this property. Let's see if we can get through the muck here and cross the street. Up we go. There we go, nice. And we'll just pull on in. All right, so you can see we've got, I mean, there's one bin and then a bunch of old buildings. This house, I, I haven't even been through this house yet. I'm not going to lie. Let's stop right there. We can turn this off. We'll take a quick look around. Yeah, we haven't even gone through this house yet. There's no propane in the tanks. Um, there's nobody here. Of course, it's abandoned for the most part. But, I mean, we could definitely get this sell, sold as rented it out. It's a decent property if, if someone wanted to come in here. I have not had the time to take care of this property whatsoever. Um, there's also this house here, but this one here is a lot rougher shape. Yeah, haven't even been inside. I don't know if I want to go in there or not. It looks pretty rough, guys. I mean, <laughs> how many mice are we going to find in there? Um, other than that, so we have this other barn right here, and this is what I saw before. I mean, there's an old John Deere right here. Now, oh, man, 2850C. Wow. Um, I, I don't even know. Like, it doesn't run. Uh, I came and looked at it. There's no keys in it. We'd have to pull the ignition out, try to get this thing to run. There's nothing in there right now to get this thing to fire up, so... I've just been leaving it here because it seemed like too much work, to be perfectly honest. And got a trailer here that's actually not too bad. I mean, it's a manure spreader. I, I, if I had a use for that, maybe I could grab that. I really don't have any uses for it, of course. Uh, fuel's empty. We've got a couple barns. Looks like we had like a pig pen or something along those lines over here. It's all boarded up and locked up. All these buildings are all locked. I can't get into any of them. But you know what? I noticed the other day I was driving by and I noticed that, well, this coop right here, this is the old, other old, actually, it's a pig pen, isn't it? The doors were open, and there's something that caught my eye just up here. Let's go take a quick look. Jump over top. We'll jump over top this. Look at this. We've got an old Chev sitting here. Look at this. Um, I mean, it's got a couple flat tires. That's okay. It's in pretty rough shape. I mean, you got rust coming up everywhere. It needs a good scrub down. The rims actually look pretty nice. It's got decent size, good rims on it. But, I don't know. It's not a bad old farm truck. I wonder if we could put a little bit of love into this thing. And, you know, make it back to, uh, to decent. I wonder if we could restore this a little bit. I do like this, uh, this series of Chev. This, I don't know what year this would be. Like an 83 to 86, somewhere in that range. I would think it would be around that range. But anyways, I do like the way this, uh, the body style, the square bodies on these look. I have no idea what kind of engine it's got in it. We're going to have to pull that apart and take a look. Let's take a jump inside. I mean, it's it's actually really clean in here. This is surprising. Um, does it start? No. No start. No. Nothing. No start. All right. Well, a nice looking truck. And what I wanted to get this back to our farm to see if we can maybe pull it apart. I mean, look at, you can see it's got some fairly updated shocks in it. So the suspension maybe is all right, but I wonder if we can kind of restore this or maybe upgrade it a bit. I don't know. We'll see. So let me um, pull this out. I'm going to go back to the farm. I'm going to go bring back one of our, uh, our flat decks, and we're going to tow this up, bring it back down to our farm. All right, we'll get the big techs hooked up to the Ford. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit big for this truck, I find, but it's okay. I mean, it's almost borderline that when I'm using this trailer, I should almost use one of my, uh, one of my semis, but it's okay. It's not... It's not that heavy. Oh, wrong one. Let's get that tailgate up. There we go. Noise. All right. Let's uh, head on out. Look how much mud I've got on the side of this truck just from driving down the road to get back out here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I can't even look at my windshield anymore. The amount of mud that comes up. Um, that, that, that flood we took. Man, did that ever hamper us, guys. <laughs> so much more water is on everything now. Uh, the water table is right up. Right up there. Through the fence. Hey, best driver in farm Go. Nice. There we go. 
and then all the way back up to the north side. As soon as we get to our uh, our little pathway here that goes up and around, I guess I could have went through that side right there, but that's okay. I just want to prove how good of a driver I am and make it through my, my tiny little gate. It's just a tiny little gate into the woods. Sweet. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, I forgot about it. Does the trailer sink in as much? The trailer doesn't seem to sink down nearly as much as the, the truck does. Like, it's almost like it's floating up on top of the mud, whereas the truck just kind of dives into it. It's, uh... I mean, that's maybe part of the problem that I'm running into with some of the some of the grabbing problem. I don't know. We'll, it seems like it's a little bit, uh, a little less on the trailer, that's for sure. Perfect. There's the Chev right there. Uh, let's see. What's going to be easiest for me to do to load this up? We go around this side, right over here, and then face out, I think. That will be the best, uh, the best bet. It's, oh, look at the mud. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Let's see if I can sneak right on past them. Oh, oh, oh. Man, it's so muddy in there. Come on. There we go. All right. Get past that John Deere. Excellent. That was close, guys. Um, that was a bit of a tighter fit than I was expecting. All right. Let's uh, drop this. Drop that. I think I'm going to actually... You know what we're going to need to do? We'll drop this down. And uh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. That'll release that. We're going to go park up beside the truck. I got to get some uh, air into those tires. All right. We got our little compressor out fill these tires up they all seem to be holding air we got a few pounds in each one uh you can see it's all sitting up on top now at least that's good i mean it's not great let's be honest it's not road ready yet but uh not bad let me get this out of the way nope i don't want to jump in that truck not yet not yet not yet not yet we gotta push that thing back let's uh let's back our truck back up we'll put it up on the deck i'm gonna need to push this thing up onto ours um yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's a, a pretty heavy load. <laughs> we'll have to get a bit of a, a run at it. Now, that's the main reason I wanted to put the air in the tires is to make sure she could push a little bit. Uh, you know what? It's a good thing I've been working out. A good thing I've been working out. Put that back up. Oh, no, no, not that. This. There we go. Shut this off. All right. So, we've got to get this truck up on the flat back, uh, back here. It's going to be a bit of a fight, to say the least. All right, well, let's uh, see if we can straighten up the wheel, make sure all the brakes and everything are off, and uh, start pushing. Oh, man. All right, release the brakes. Put her into neutral. All right, let's line this thing up. Looks all good. I think straight back should be good. All right, let's grab onto the bumper and just start pushing. Oh, man. Push. Come on. Push, 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 push. All right, get some speed. Get some speed. There we go. Up on. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. Get up there. All right, leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. We're good. I think it's good enough, right? Oh, man. I still got a bit further to go. I still got a little bit further to go. Oh, this is going to be a little bit tough, this last little push. You guys ready? All right. Three, two, one. Push, 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 push. Get up on the top. There we go. Nice. All right. Perfect. That'll work. Um, Yeah, it's a bit of a climb. <laughs> Uh, not a problem. We can do this. We're, we, like I said, hit the gym. We're good. Let's uh, put her back into park. Make sure everything gets strapped down. And let's head her back to the farm, guys. All right, so let's pull this around back in behind the shed here. I've got that back bay open. That'll be a perfect spot for me to put this for the time being. Now, I can't decide exactly what I want to do with this yet. I mean, we may, I, I may rebuild this. We'll see. We'll see what kind of shape the engine's in when we pull it apart. Uh, if this thing is worthwhile, I mean, the body looks like it's it's dent free. It just needs a little bit of rust, get rid of some of the rust on it. Um, other than that, we'll see. Now, there's a paint shop in town I could take this to. We'll see if that's worthwhile or not. I would, I mean, I do love this body style, as long as it's not going to cost us an arm and a leg. But I mean, I don't see any dents. It's just a bit of rust, a little bit of rust, not bad. Um, pretty classic looking truck. So let's get this thing off of here. I'm going to roll it down, push it into the shop. And uh, we'll maybe start pulling it apart here. I still have something else I got to take care of today, and I better get on that right away. Oh man! So had a chance to take the uh, take a look at this Chev. It does have the V8, of course. It's got the 350 in it. Nice, nice engine. It's only got about 100 miles on it. A little less than 100 miles. I think it's a 97, 98 thousand, something along those lines. So it does have a few miles, but nothing crazy. Uh, I wonder how bad it's been beat up. I mean, I don't even see any dings really in the bodywork. So once we get this thing cleaned up, I may just change the fluids in it, put uh, new filters and stuff along those lines as well. But I think we're looking pretty good. 
Uh, we could do most of that stuff here. I mean, we got all our tools right here, of course, in our Maco toolbox. But uh, things are looking pretty good for this truck. I think this might be a good candidate for us to rebuild, guys. This thing is not bad. You don't see too many of these on the road nowadays, that's for sure. We got the rear hitch still on the back. It looks like the hitch is almost brand new. It does have... Uh, does it have a hitch? Yeah, it does. It's got a ball hitch in the back as well, so we can use that if we decide to go with anything. I mean, look at the step size on this thing. Such a good-looking truck. I, I just love this style. Now, paint job, clean up. We may just, like, clean up the engine a little bit. I'm tempted to upgrade. We'll see. We may even upgrade the suspension. I, I, I don't know if we even, if we need to or not. We'll pull that apart. If it's if there's any question with the brakes and the uh, the suspension, we may upgrade it just to see what we can do, but I'm pretty happy with what we got there so far. It's going to take us a couple days to get this thing painted up and cleaned up. So uh, we'll just leave it in here for now. I'll come back after we're done here on the farm today and uh, take a closer look. Uh, the truck could stay there. I don't need to worry about that. Nothing's coming around that side. Let's close this down. Excellent. So the last thing I want to take care of today, well, we needed to worry about our horses still. I've, I've got some bales. I bought those bales, remember? But I've got a field over there. I want to start uh, getting ready to hay. So we've got a bush hog. It's something quite simple. I mean... Dirt cheap in the grand scheme of things. A brand new bush hog. I'm planning on towing this with uh, our new John Deere we got over there. Let's go grab that. And we could simply use this here to tow that around, cut some grass, make some hay, and uh, get to work. I like this. It's a good little tractor for this job. It's almost perfect. You know, I'm kind of using this as much as I possibly can. It was, it was one we didn't necessarily need, but I think the more I use it now, the more I realize how good it is to have this size tractor. A little bit bigger than uh, what is that the 6045 I believe we have right there so it does help a little bit there it's uh, a, just a little bit better of a size it's easy to back up a little more horsepower where that one there only has I think it's 105 yeah, over there Put the pin in there perfect let's uh, let's go in the field nice all right love it all right all the way down and then uh, just the small little field in behind our pig pen I want to cut that up turn that into hay yeah, you can see the distinct line. The grass isn't quite ready to be cut over on the east side here. This one here is still ready to go. So we'll cut the grass just in this one section and come and bale this. We might get, if we get a half dozen bales out of this, uh, I'd be happy. I don't need a lot, but if we get about a half dozen, that's a good start. And then we'll worry about this one later on. This is a, a much bigger field, of course. This goes uh, off to the range road. Once we hit that range road over there, then we're good. Anyways, let's uh, open this up. Go, go, go. It's actually almost overkill, this tractor with this little uh, <laughs> this little bush hog. And it's more meant for twigs and stumps and stuff as well, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it's going to work just fine for what we're using it for here. I mean, look at the size of this thing by comparison, right? All right, there we go. Perfect. So I still will need to find a way to either um, windrow this, potentially. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't decided if that's going to happen or not yet. We just have the baler that's there. Let's get out of the ditch. Don't want to be in the ditch. Uh, we do have the baler that's back at the farm. That brand new baler we got from Jake. We'll use that to bale this up into round bales. And I think we'll have a lot of hay. It's going to take us a day or two for us to wait for this to get uh, cured, of course. But I don't think I'm going to need that much hay. Really, how much hay can I possibly need? It's more the alfalfa and stuff that I'm kind of worried about. I'm going to go right across the roadway here. And all the way up. Now this, like I said, this this land, I got a plan for this. I got a plan for this land. What am I? <laughs> I got a plan for this this little section here. I don't know if we're going to get to it. If this sale goes through on the farm, then I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to leave this alone. But you know what? I almost think that the fact they saw this horse pasture here, that might have been one of the uh, the sale points. I mean, no one really took interest. We hadn't talked to anyone until that gets, got built. Then all of a sudden, there's a little bit of interest in our farm. Um, I mean, it's a major through fair right here on the side here. So it's a pretty good a good viewing angle for people, I guess, to see the farm. But I wasn't really planning on selling this thing until, well, you get a good offer on something, then all of a sudden you got to take it, right? So we'll see what uh, what it comes up with. We're negotiating still. We'll talk numbers later on. But for now, just know that it's something we may be doing. It's something that may happen, and uh, we may have to figure something else out. But at least, you know what, we're going to have some decent paydays for it. Look at that. So not a lot of left to do here. This is going to take us a little bit. We'll do a couple rounds here. Pretty minor in the grand scheme. I think it's like a ball diamond almost, right? Um, it shouldn't take us too long to cut this up. I need to go get a wind roller. I'm going to go buy some quickly, I think, or rent one just to clean this up and make sure we can easily get this picked up later on. I don't want to drive around that much with the bullet with the baler. <laughs> it seems like way too much work. Oh man, and back cross once more. Excellent. 
Anyways, guys, that um, that's really going to do it for us today. Uh, I'm curious to see what we can do with that truck. We'll uh, have to do that, get that fixed up next time as well. We'll get this bailed up next time. Things are looking good. We'll find out exactly what happens on the farm, hopefully soon enough. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. You guys know what to do. You can drop that like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to check us out on Twitch as well. You can find the link for the Twitch channel down in the description. Uh, we're streaming there, all games other than Farm Sim, on uh, kind of late night stuff. So if you're up late night, come hang with us on Twitch. We'd love to see you. Anyways, have a great day, guys. And I will see you guys next time. This is Clutch from Nebraska. Over and out. Mm -hmm.